everyone, I'm Kylie Hatmaker again, and we're going to be talking about some of the, uh, the well, I'm sorry, the two different pull-up variations that we do once you've trained yourself to be able to do the pull-ups. Don't get me wrong, the four exercises we've done building up to the pull-ups, it's going to be a long, hard road. You're going to have lots of different uh, times where you're not going to be able to get, you know, the progress that you want, but it takes a while to build up the strength to be able to do your pull-ups. So once you've built those up and been able to uh, get to the pull-up level, we're going to talk about the two different types that we use in almost all of our workouts. One is the kipping pull-up and one is just a strict pull-up. Um, the strict pull-up we do basically because it's a strength exercise. It's not something we do as often because usually when you're climbing a wall or whatever you're training to get out there to do, if it's fun stuff, I hope, but everything that you do, you get to use your whole body. You don't just, you know, at, as my husband mentioned, you don't just climb a tree going, I'm going to climb a tree without using my legs. You get to use everything. So that's why most of our workouts call for the kipping pull-ups. Uh, so we're going to start with that. So basically a kip is whatever it takes to get your body over the bar from a dead hang. It, it might be, um, for you it might be kicking your feet, for one person it might be moving your hips, it might be a shoulder pop, it might be all of those things. When I first started trying to do pull-ups and they were like, why aren't you kipping? I'm like, I don't understand what kipping is, but eventually you'll find your own motion that gets you up over the bar. And it'll be easier to work. So if it doesn't make sense at first, it probably won't. Just keep trying it and see what you can do to get up there. So for the kip, you wanna make sure everything you do goes from a dead hang. Um, if you have to come off the bar, you wanna start from a dead hang, but after every repetition, you wanna to go to the bottom and make sure that, you know, feet swinging, not touching the ground, that you've got that full shoulder extension on everything. So for the kipping pull-ups, we go. Dead hang. Dead hang. Dead hang. Dead hang. So that's for the kips. Like I said, for me, it's like a kind of a kick of the feet and a roll of the hips to try to get up over the bar. It may not be that for you. So again, you just have to keep working on it. And for the strict pull-ups, they're just what they sound like, but you're going to make sure your feet aren't on the ground, you're not giving yourself a cheat or bending your arms. So you're going to go from dead hang, and you're not going to wiggle those hips. You're just going to pull your arms to get you up over the bar. So you don't want any of the kip or the roll or the kick of the shoulders, you know, popping you up there. It's going to be from down all the way up and back down. So it just depends on what workout you're doing that day. Um, but we got a couple more videos coming up, some more pull-up exercises to show you guys, and hopefully you'll enjoy those.